Hello, folks. Welcome again. Thanks for joining uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, let me go and share my screen first. Okay. Hello, folks. Thanks for joining and welcome again. I hope you have had a good week, past weeks, and let's see the roadmap for the next week, but this is not a financial advice, so do your own due diligence. Uh, any ticker you want me to analyze, please feel free to put in your uh, comment section. Also, make clear if it's short term what's your expected duration midterm expected duration you know short term is a week or two midterm is you know three weeks to six weeks long term is more than a year so if you can put more clear uh, i can provide you those informations as clear uh, possible from my analysis perspective. Of course, you have to do your own due diligence and do it uh, you know, and plan it accordingly. And you know, there are three components. Don't forget entry, stop, and target you know, in the same order. So patiently wait for your entry. If it hits your stop, get out or wait for your target. A journey towards your target should be take your stops up every time it's going in your direction. So once, let's say your target is 100% gain, but you know if you're at 50% gain and you see it's dipping and goes back to red, don't let that happen. So that is uh, two cents. So after that, let's start the analysis. And let's see, as I mentioned last week, the bearish market, uh, market is still not bearish, honestly. Uh, what we are looking at a shorter time frame, and shorter time frame, definitely we are gonna see a dip. Super overextended, these pullbacks are nothing, I mean, I would say, but yes, we are going down coming week as well. Uh, what's your, target point I was expecting at least this area which is 437 um, 434 50 would have been nicer and you see uh, probably didn't happen because you know then they should have to go to touch the 100 moving average so I gave you path this is going to be a sharper drop uh, in between there will be a bounces and you can see that uh, when we can go bullish, I will talk about that. So here you might see a bounce, another drop, another drop, another drop. Will it follow the path? Nobody knows. You know, it can turn around any point. So right now, this is your bullish point. Over this, it's going to start one shot. Right now, this is your resistance point. So every time it's hitting, this particular point on this line, I mean, the, this particular line, you know, that's a good opportunity to short it. So depending on how it goes, uh, does it have enough power to touch it line um, every now and then? Uh, because this should be a sharper drop and then start moving up. So I don't think that you will see too many touches on this line. Maybe you might see back to 437 area uh you know in the next couple of days after the drop if that happens right now you know you might expect this bounce and go slow down but i'm expecting it will be sharper down because they need to start the center alley going back and beat the all-time high from here so that's my expectation so that's why that's the only reason i'm expecting it to be a sharper drop but market doesn't care what I'm expecting or not. As you guys have seen, some of the analysis worked perfectly from last week. Some of the analysis did not. 
and we did not hit the bottom. So the timing is the key. And sometimes, you know, you have to give a little bit of extra time for your uh, points to hit. So here is your support points, support points, support point, and the final destination. If we come around this vicinity in a week or two, I think it will be a buy, buy, buy. And market is still, I would say, bullish, and that's your 200 MA line, just to let you know. And it's still rising. So uh, holding 200 will be, uh, you know, bullish, uh, but am I gonna see the 200? I don't know. Uh, one day at a time, you might see a bearish cross here right now on the moving average between 821, which already occurred here. That is first bearish sign, but we still have a lot of power. So we are over 50, we are over 100, and then this one. So it's a long way to go, but next five to 10 days, expect 410 to 420 area, something in between. Uh, precisely, you can say 413 might be hitting that target because this is very steep line what they have initiated. Uh, will they follow? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. But yes, I am bearish. Q's. Q has little uh, trend line, it's not that sharp, but it's not, uh, it's, uh, you know, the angle is still very sharp, not as sharp as SPY, I would say. So. That's your kind of support point on the queue. That's your uh, 50. So you can say Q is still bullish compared to that. Also, there's you do not see any bearish cross here. So Q is still more powerful than the SPY, but I expect Q will come down and will catch up with that. Underneath this line, you know, there will be straight drops. So those are your target points and uh, you know those are your angles and you know every uh, moving average you might see a bounce so 50 you might see a bounce and then you know 100 you might see a bounce and then final destination so by end of month we might be back to around 340 but it can turn anywhere so depending on, we'll have a look. We still have this to break right now, you can say, or you know, if you draw a line, we are almost pretty close. So let me give you a proper line for that. And you will know what I'm talking is, we are still holding this line. So you, for the sharper drop, we definitely need below that line. No question whatsoever. And that's your cue, Apple, which is going to drive the market down. And if you see kind of a channel, it's kind of creating, you can say short of, not 100%, but which is very sharp down, which is not a good sign. So anything underneath that, I would say it's 146.90, or let's give a few pennies here and there. So 147 underneath that, Apple is going to crap and it might do, you know, and I'm expecting to flatten out here. And that should be a good long opportunity uh, again back in Apple. Uh, next week or two, I believe we should be able to see that price point. Facebook. Uh, I would say it's still bullish, but uh, a lot of uh, option flow is happening. And that's kind of, again, telling you it's going to move down. And your first target point will be 100 MA. If we lose 50, that'll be 346, which is pretty much doable this week. And again, you know, whatever bounce you see, I haven't really put much attention to it, but you might see 
320, that would be a good opportunity. This is where you should start accumulating. If you're interested in Facebook and you believe in Facebook, then you should accumulate, you know, like one fourth of your share every day. You add one fourth, one fourth. For the option activity, you have to be very careful because it can still fall down from here. So that's your Facebook. And let's get on to the points. So I think we should go here. That will be one of the bigger points where we should test first. That will be your next point. Uh, around 334. Um, that could be your final point as well, but not sure. Um, let's see the last one. What I see is so 325. That will be a golden, golden opportunity in the Facebook. Um, <clears throat> is there anything bullish? Uh, could be uh, like. CCL, uh, the good part on this, if you see, you can see the bottom, higher low, higher low, higher low. Now playing with 850 and 21 moving average right here, consolidating area, boom back up to 200, which already happened here, so now, uh, it need to go to, um, sorry, uh, 100, it need to go to 200, and you might play in this area before it's moving back. So at least we should be able to pass 28 plus in the, in the CCL, um, that is my two cents. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm bullish short term below right here, which is around, 27, uh, two, sorry, let's put that line that way. You know what your targets are, 2270. Uh, I think, you know, that should be a nice stop. Um, not very far off, it's about 85 cents, but I think yeah, that should be a good stop. And then, you know, if you see the breakout happening right now, you can see that it's about to break out. There are many breakout points, but you know, right now it definitely did break out from here. So just for more clarity, I'm going to show it to you guys. So yeah, this trend has broken. <clears throat> so I think it's going, going higher. Another bullish name um, I would say is low, but it's kind of, making inverse uh, head and shoulder pattern that typically the moves are almost you know from your head to bottom so similar size move if you put it from here to here but that may not play or may play depending on how market behaves and if it's going to go with market or against it but you should be able to see 234 on this break. Uh, so if you're looking at the long term, uh, not a bad opportunity because you can buy on the dip. But that will be your stop point, which is 196. That will kind of losing 196 will tell you that no. This head and solar pattern technically will be well. It did right here at 201.5, can say. So make your own good judgment. And uh, let's look at this automation, which is another breakout is about to happen over this point. Uh, 120. Two, I would say. So let's see. So over that, expect moonshot. Another uh, almost uh, this big of a move. So if you calculate same move, uh, you should be able to see that. 
at least automation is going to go probably short term if you are doing this. The market is about 138. Uh, the good point is going there. The thing is, after three days run, there was a consolidation before another breakout, but not necessarily it might repeat exact same. If we see over 122.50, I think it's going to run higher or you can have better entry around 125 for your shot at uh, 138. So that's your automation. Um, and the dock view is about to break down again. The dock view has huge drop and it tries to come back. It might come back and test around 287 area. I don't know that, but anytime I see this trend line breaks is going to be dropping again. So breaking this trend line, sort of it will create a bear flag, you can say. And sort of a bear flag, uh, you have to make it kind of smaller here. Uh, yep, and, and this one. Uh, that's the thing I am expecting that it already touched. Uh, if it goes on this area is still bearish to me because that was a huge drop uh, on 281.50. Uh, that'll be better opportunity for short, but anytime, you know, it's dropping out of bear flag, we should be able to see uh, around 261 in the dot queue. And you should be able to see around 245 uh, as well. Uh, along with the market. Uh, last bullish name uh, I had, I'm just trying to look at the uh, note, hold on. Um, okay, uh, we'll skip that. I don't uh, remember that. So now I'm going to look at the Boeing. Uh, Boeing has sort of, uh, the falling wedge, so which is also bearish, might go against the market. So that could be a nice hedge over 215. That's all I'm going to say. If we don't go over this, Boeing is going to go towards uh, further down around 195 area, and that'll be amazing, amazing opportunity to get in the Boeing. Uh, that's it, folks. Thanks for joining. Hope you liked the video. Hope you liked the analysis. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to put in the comment box. And don't forget to like and subscribe and bell, press the bell icon so you get notification when the video comes. Thanks and have a wonderful, wonderful trading week coming ahead. Thank you. Bye bye.